Hey guys, we're Cooper's and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool promo. We're last time I left off. I picked up two wins in cup matches because, yeah, I did. Back into Premier League action in this episode against Norwich first, then against West Ham. And Jack, don't worry, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you were dreading this video because you were expecting me to talk about awful home and facts and figures, the worst thing into the top four. I'm not going to talk about it because I will have a separate video where I'll be talking about On the pitch it might not be. Let's work hard for summer and I'm going to do like a season full review. And for that's City, that's where I'll overly assess the gone for for this game. season. So, the kind of players that we expect, oh. the kind of performance don't work. That we expect He's past, past right now. This, this will be the yeah, only I time I make it. first glance look cautious, but it just depends right. on the so attitude. You don't have to hear about me overly. Got a foothold in this game. They can get a little like bit more adventurous and push it. Which will pretty much be dedicated to the season as a whole. For Liverpool. To alleviate any fears that people might have had that I was going to go overboard about talking about during a career mobile. I know you, build up you, maybe some of you challenge. are interested in that, but I feel it would be better if I stuck to talking about the, the attack here. Career mode as it is. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Recently in the career mode, I've been. Across. Holding the uh, cup games in the last episode, we're pretty much the uh, the, the weight being lifted off my shoulders that I kind of need, and hopefully I can. Uh, I don't know whether the visitors will be being cheated up by their manager not to take this one lightly, but it was a pretty comfortable win. They had the superiority on their own ground, but football is strange. The game should be. It's a quick break. Draw past the defender and one idiot. Pointed straight to the spot. Penalty given. I mean, he was asking for a throw. I think that's fair enough from the ref. It was it was a clear foul and it's a clear penalty. Sliding in and uh, taking his part. I knew as soon as I saw him sliding, uh, he was going to take me down for the penalty. He thought he could win it, but continues his great. Stats on the penalties as a Liverpool player. Where of course, he's only ever missed one strike. Yeah, I mean, this boy is a penalty that taker, and he a, showed uh, it there really, really close. Cool alive with that sweeping finish from the Austrian left back. So, the first goal it's 1 0. Goal for Liverpool. He's only scored a few goals this season. Uh, off the mark, of course. Well, they're in a good position here. Hang a pink. Lost his mark. Have, uh, been watching. The cross comes in now. And he gets the ball with his head. With the season. And so far, you'll know that every outfield player, except for one, has at least one Premier League goal, and that would be Nicholas Sewell. He's the only one that no no goal in the air. Let in the shot go! Firmino! Ooh! Corner now for Flexion denies Firmino. That could have easily been a goal. Oh. Uh, the defender did his job very well. Oh. It is so. And now the shot! Goes for it! Ah! Oh Imagine if he had scored there, that would have been a hell of a moment. Trying to switch shots on! And that shot's blocked very quickly. Uh, take another corner. Thank you, Sadio. Deflection.
Well, they've wasted that crossing position. Firmino! Oh. Corner here for Liverpool. Good save from the keeper. This could be about four or five to nothing if not for the saves and the blocks that the North defence and keeper are pulling out. That was for him. By his standards, yeah. that's a glaring miss. I think uh, any football fan will say when the rain comes down like it's coming down now it's going to add to the thrills a few spills possibly but it normally does doesn't it and i always used to like it because uh, it quite often meant you got a few more chances in the box with the uh, bounce of the ball and what have you liverpool leading but it's a pretty slender margin at this stage we've got half time coming up saw the goal and went for it Ooh. and the goalkeeper plunged to make the save couldn't get anywhere near that dude, for some reason team that's behind at the moment mm -hmm. well, luckily uh courtois was equal to his uh attempt and now the counter attack is on good forward play from them this could be a chance Coutinho slots in. Ozol was going to go for the easy option. Always going to go for the easy option. Or he could have easily scored. No, he just seems to lose his bearings. I thought Coutinho had practically an open goal. Oh, man. The defender tried to get to it. If he had, he would have put it out for a corner. So, uh. Very unlucky for him, but uh, Philip Coutinho will score his fourth goal of the season, and it is indeed 2 0. Restarting at 2 0. Goal for Liverpool, number 10, Coutinho. And the verdict is another four minutes of added time. Ball of Mane can get there, he's not going to get close. Well, that's half time. It's half time anyway. 2 0 is the score. And a second goal right before half time was crucial. To help with my search of. Uh, Three more league points. It's Liverpool's game to win, really. Now they've got the uh, lead at half time. They can get another go for the two in this second half. Just Past his man. Fully. Well, here. He see off. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Very the great. They've coped with it well defensively. We've well, got his fist to it. Throw in for Liverpool. Roberto Firmino. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly a wasted cross. Well, it is the hot topic at the moment. The confirmed news that Real Madrid have signed the player they've been targeting. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it. And I think maybe the buying club will too, because £40 million, around that figure anyway, seems... Uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez. Go on, Sanio. We could be in. May! Oh. Liverpool have won a corner. Did I take too much time with that? Mm. A question. I'll be asking myself for the rest of the video. Oh, what? In my head. We've had an hour gone here, and there's still 30 minutes left. Well, here comes the support. Philip Coutinho. Oh, but, oh, but Firmino is offside. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Manager won't be too happy you know, 
Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The Good ball. Manny! Ah. He went in well. Here's Renato Sanchez. Letting the shot go. Here we go. Manny Origi. 3 0. Well, when everybody that else should be game over. Looking, this player never had to be that. three points toes. in the bag. He's on the lookout for the half chance, and Liverpool have yeah. got the goal. Well, the keeper quite right. It's almost, almost like a one-two, but uh, ball didn't come directly from Mane. He back to Origi. He hit it. The keeper saved from Mane. Shot put it back into the pass. The Belgian. Where is the goal? Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. It's looking good. This move. Good strong tackle. He's got his shot off now. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Renato Sanchez. Well, it will be a throw-in. Uh, throw. Nathaniel Klein. Here's Ali. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. It run through. Ah. Excellent control in a tight area. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. It was good progress with this attack. It was good play until they got that challenge in. It is Liverpool's day, it seems, barring any late slip-ups. They have been the team in control. First touch was poor. Ah! Of course, that's... What? That was on red! Well, In what universe is that a red? Sent off with the heat of the battle. I mean, it's a stupid, stupid challenge, but it's not a red card. It's really stupid, isn't it? And uh, I'm sure his manager will get stuck into him for that because it was a lack of professionalism. Ah, oh, bullshit game. Bullshit. Arigi. Absolutely no trouble. And Winslow like gave me Angelo's hand now. Save that shot from distance. Well taken by the goalkeeper off his line. He's one of the best, Martin, at just shifting across, reading the pass. And the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Could be dangerous. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Good play. And that's the final whistle from the referee. Three points in the bag. Um, ah. <laughs> I, I, I still don't really know what to say about that red card. Bournemouth 1, Newcastle United 1. Everton 2, Chelsea 1. Leicester City 0, mm. Arsenal 2. Unfortunately, there's not an FA Cup game United, where he could serve that Norwich fact. City, and nil. Liverpool, three. Southampton, that. two. Mm -hmm. Crystal Palace, one. Stoke City, one. Still didn't get rid of those guys. Nil. Sunderland, two. Tottenham that. Hotspur, one. Watford, two. Manchester United, two. West Bromwich Albion, nil. Aston Villa, you know one. Now let's see what effect that has. Cox has the it, I think it's At the top of the table game, remain really Liverpool with 61 points. In second, Tottenham Hotspur and with 48 points. The, uh, in, the in third, Chelsea with 46 uh, points. In fourth, control climbing the table the are Bournemouth with, uh, with 34 Sanchez. points. Ironically, that's pretty much what Coutinho did in real life against West Ham. He uh, in sixth, sat in a deeper hole. With 33 points, but only behind on goal difference. In seventh, climbing the table are Sunderland with 31 points. 
In eighth and falling are Leicester City with 30 points. Bottom of the table, Watford with 16 points. And then reading up the table, Just for the and moving down are Newcastle United with 18 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom and falling are Swansea City with 18 points. Fourth bottom, moving down, are Norwich City with 19 points. Fifth bottom, rising up the table, are Stoke City with 20 points. No, reject all offers. I'm not interested in selling any of my players. That's a fantastic offer, but no. That came from West Brom as well. What? Why are they? They're, they're being 30. Th fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. You know, something is wrong when Spurs drop points. They lost. Who were they facing? I can't remember who they were facing. Sunderland. Real life relegated bottom of the league. Sunderland. That's Sunderland. You lost to Sunderland. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Right. What? Where are some of them? For out of curiosity's sake, seventh. Mm -hmm. Right. This game be uh. This game, yo. This game. This, this game. Ooh. Boy, am I pissed at this game right now. Um, sorry, Emery. Uh, that won't be happening, but I might bring one as a substitute. Ooh. Can I refuse to sell Pogba? Oh, Pogba's, he's gotten... Pissed off at Manchester United not winning shit. 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 There you go, Manchester United fans. You'll have Pogba for about four years. There's your welcome. And of course I'm joking because I know for a fact that no Manchester United fan will want to watch me. Uh, I also know it'll take a lot quicker for Pogba to get fed up. up with, uh, well, I can't really say trophyless stuff at Manchester United because they've already won one trophy. And they... Is the Europa League final on tomorrow night? I know it's on like Wednesday or Thursday. Is this not this Wednesday or th Wednesday, is it? Oh no, the FA Cup final is next weekend. This, oh, this weekend coming. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, as always, Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this one. Should be a good game. The game today, Liverpool against West Ham United. Liverpool, how well they played in their previous game. Oh, it is tomorrow. Against Norwich City. Yeah, 3-0, comfortable for them. And, uh, Fair enough. So, you know, that, that could be another trophy for Man United. And considering it's Josie Murray. In your own, considering their uh, rivals, probably them a bit. Now they're looking for even more. Well, past the halfway mark to be in a Champions Cup spot. If they could end up in the same position, it would absolutely yeah, transform yeah, this club. Fair. Liverpool have just made one alteration. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. David Alaba starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders. Coutinho starts with Renato Sanchez in central midfield. In attack, Ivo Corigi starts. He was man of the match last time out. Wobble to Rigi, that could be the 
perfect start. Ah, wait. It is a penalty. Is he giving a penalty? Surely not. It's a red card for Norfolk. He must have given a penalty. It's a second penalty in as many games. It's a straight red card for. What did he do? And uh, he's a faction off getting. Or he more or less fell on him. I feel for West Ham, I think they got slighted there. Oh! And Foster saves it regardless. I thought he would expect me to go the same way as the last time, but instead, Alaba misses his second penalty as a Liverpool player. This time it's actually properly saved instead of being a complete a wank of a penalty he is the first time he's, he's had a go here well, he's had a go motherfucker Fraser Foster that's the second time he's done that against Liverpool once in real life and even once in fucking he saved Milner's penalty in real life and he saves Alaba's penalty in here He could be the star turn for Liverpool today. He might be through. Mane. Oh my god, how did you miss that? How did you miss that? But he just couldn't finish it. Coming here today, you sense that the home fans expect a victory because they've won the away game against this club they're facing today. It's never quite as simple as that, is it? Well, no, and uh, the losing side will have a point to prove because they really didn't turn up in that first game. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Looking to widen the play, really, widen the build up, but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline. That's a wasted throw. He's given it straight. Oh, it might be a bad mistake. No. Oh, Joe. We've got a corner coming up. Thankfully, he he recovered that. The tr I should have gone the other way with the throw. And he's up for the header. Good work by the goalkeeper. But if they, after going down to ten men. Missing team today because they won their last three matches. First goal, I'd be pissed. Coutinho. Coutinho! Even though he's playing a defensive, a more defensive side role in this game, I don't know where the hell Cox is. But uh, Philip Coutinho. At a very good moment there. Makes it his mission in this game to get us off to a uh, mark in the game. Five goals now for the season. Two and two games. Noticing a bit of similarities between these two games. Two red cards. Or two penalties. He's Here's two goals from Philip Coutinho. Some good passes. Oh. It's a quick break. And he goes on goal. Say a man, eh? Firmino! Well, they might not be rushing to take the corner then. Or goal to the good, of course. Are you. And he headed it goalwards. Yes. No. Mane. Matip. Good pass. Getting it forward. Alaba. Can he make up for missing his second penalty in Liverpool colours? Oh, he'll win a corner. Of course, he takes the corners on that side. Cox. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one.
Coutinho. At the moment, Coutinho. looking quite good for Liverpool, but only quite good. They would have hoped to be in a stronger position, but it could Sadio be Mane. As we He'll win the corner the off of uh, Cabana. Fraser Forster, there's a lot of him, and he needed all of his size and agility to make that wonderful save. He's a master at getting his angles right, isn't he, this goalkeeper? Roberto Firmino. And in comes the header. Oh! It's a header! It's a goal! And it's Cox! That really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this What match. a moment for a youngster. His first Premier League goal. Or his first Premier League start. At the cup end as well. Oh. That's like a dream debut if you're a local player. Yeah. What a moment. You won't forget that in a hurry. The margin here to 2 0. Angelo Ogbonna. Obiad. Coutinho. Good forward play from them. Mane. They're going the second half. Yes, there is. What a goal from Renato Sanchez. Trust that big Portuguese is the good to absolutely take it over the spotlight and shine him on himself. He doesn't have lowest of. A fancy he good goal, does he? He Liverpool putting on he announced himself in the Euros with that absolute screamer that he scored. And that is just a thing of fucking beauty. Emre Chan is probably sitting in the, in, watching that thinking, damn. And mine was and people thought mine was good. Well there is the referee blowing for half time. It's three nil here. Would you count that as an overhead kick? I would say that's an overhead kick. I mean, his leg was fucking miles in the air. I mean, if Pierre Crouch was around, he would have smashed him in the fucking head. <laughs> that tells you how high his foot was. Well, as you can see from the scoreline, I count that as an overhead kick. That's, that's an overhead kick. I don't care what you say. I uh, that's like the first overhead kick I've scored. Alan, what's gone wrong with him? He looks off the pace. Hurt. That graphic doesn't make for good reading. He's got to do better. In FIFA. In, having that in ages, but it's the first one I've ever caught on camera. I, I've, I've scored a few of them off camera. You know, like, yeah, you occasionally just put them in without you trying. Because... Like, I didn't tell Renato Sanchez to do that. I didn't need... I, didn't, I just pressed circle and... Instead of going for a header or something. And he decided, you know what, I'm gonna... Let's steal all the headlines. Uh, fucking boom. Overhead bicycle kick. Hey, thank you very much. With that first 45 minutes, it was a good goal from him. Good overall performance, actually. Origi. Oh, great work by the keeper. And it's back for another corner. Another shot. Patio. Scored already, of course. I did fancy him in that Not quite a uh, taken his early placed goal. in the top corner. Spectacular goal from Philip Coutinho there. Play uh, play a a bit of a bad miss, really. That's cut out. Liverpool, for so long, the most successful club in league football in England. A long time they've had to wait now to try and get a league title again. It's looking good now. It's looking very good indeed. They have played some really confident stuff. Everybody seems certain of their jobs. They've settled into a shape. 
Who knows? Could be glory at the end of this. Goal news now from Watford. It's the second goal for Everton. 63 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. What we've got on EA Sports very soon for you, the presentation of the FA Cup fixture for West Ham United. They'll be hosting Spurs. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. He's coming forward with some danger. And the cross is in. Just a quick check on the Give me the ball 20 back. minutes to go. In quickly. Mm. The this, nature of this game. I just have a feeling that more goals in this game. Especially with West Ham down to 10. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some Senior. width into this attack. Shrugs off the pinch. Ah, this time he's dispossessed of the ball. Pass. But we brought right back. Back up for him in this position. Roberto Firmino, Origi, 4 0. We don't always see the advantage come good, but they've made you. I mean, here, they? it's a very simple goal, but, you know, everything's going to be simple compared to the goal. Well, well that made it 3 0. Nicely taken. Certainly was. And uh, they seem to be headed for a comfortable lead here. Good luck here, again, by the replay of the goal. Sixteen goals. Four nil. I think would be a lot, but it's not. You know, it's he is the top goal scorer. To make a change. At this point, I expect someone to be in the twenties. It's been uh, much closer this year for some reason. This season, anyway. But uh, Mane's kind of time for frozen the out of the uh, top goal for a reward. Oh, and Cox scores again! To get a goal when you've got the extra player. The youngster bags a brace on his Premier League debut. Two for him on the day. And two very well taken goals. Well, let's take another look at the goal. I mean, you can't ask for more than that, can you? Well, you get a hat trick. Still time. <laughs> Five nil, and the game underway again. Seven minutes to go. Very much, much time still time. What did this mean, Alan? Saying that, I game? think there's a ring well, on an hat trick as well. Spurs, and they certainly need to do better because they've been so poor out here. The shot's on. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, they're in a good position here. And now the shot. That shot's blocked very quickly. Roberto Firmino. Well, he's put a lot into the game. I'm not surprised he's a bit tired. The break is definitely on. Mane! Oh! As I was just saying, he's uh, been relatively quiet in terms of goals. The past couple of games. Something uh attacking now. Scoring is north north of you. Shot up! Goalkeeper hangs on. Straight Fraser Foster. Five nil is the final score. Could have been six. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because but, um, of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. It was a football lesson. It was pretty humiliating for the inferior team. They just didn't get into it. Well, I was unlucky from the penalty squad. Great performance from the youngster. Or Cox getting himself on the score sheet twice. No, Riggy did score sick. Two goals. Oops. Oh yeah, Coutinho scored the first goal. For some reason I thought he, Origi did. 
My bad. Uh, yeah. What a game for Cox. Cox. And what a game for the team. The only person who will uh, look at that game negatively from the team is probably going to be Babala, but because he missed the penalty. Liverpool five. West Ham United. Ah well, he'll he'll you you'll get it next time, David. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, man. Don't even worry about it. One. Watford one. Everton two. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 64 points. In second, Tottenham Hotspur with 48 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In third, Chelsea with 46 points. In fourth, climbing the table are Everton with 36 Sprinting points. Over for Deli Alley. In fifth, and falling, oh yeah, I completely forgot about Emery. Points. In sixth, moving down that's my bad. with 33 points. In seventh, Sunderland with 32 points. I didn't do half bad and a deeper rock oh. the team above. Bottom of the table, Watford with 16 points. You're in club. Man is a motherfucking genius. Falling are Swansea City with 18 points. Third bottom, moving down, are Norwich City with 19 points. Fourth bottom and falling are Stoke City. I just wanna before we end the episode, I just wanna check. See if the no, table, there's uh, not another United game before the end points. of the uh, transfer window. So when we when I when you see me in the next episode, I'll be have gone past that Blackpool game. It's four now. After the first like this game means absolutely nothing. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm um, enjoy it. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I'll be all. Have a very, very nice day. Peace.